Hi, this is Nancy Wilson here that I'm going to interview and she's going to tell us a little bit about Cayman and how she came down here. Where are you from, Nancy, originally? Ohio, right in the center of the state. And how, how did you and Tom happen to come to Cayman Islands? We were hunting for a place that nobody had heard of before in the south and the salesman was in the store and he said we should go to the Cayman Islands. So we made arrangements and came down in a seaplane. I think we flew to Miami and then on over. And the airport was very, very small with grass, runways, and so forth. When was that? What the early 60s. Early 60s. Wow, that's a long, long time ago. Where'd you first stay when you went to the island? Where we did you live? We stayed at a place called um, Pageant Beach. And it consisted of huts. It's, it was right where the wharf is, right beside it. And it consisted of just little huts, which contained a bathtub, a toilet, a, a washbowl, basin. And you got to stay there for 30 some dollars, and that included one meal <laughs> a <day>. Wow. <laughs> so, and the first thing that we got when we arrived on the island, we went to the bicycle man and rented a bicycle. That was the best. There were hardly any cars here. There was a taxi cab called the Mini Moat, which was low slung to the ground and since has been banned. So that's the way we got it. Wow. That's Around. How times have changed, huh? Wow. What was it like? Where'd you get groceries and stuff? There were about three or four groceries, but you would get bread at one place, meat at another. It, it took about four trips to get enough to eat for the time we were here. Wow. Wow. How'd you happen to find Harbor Heights then, after the pageant beach? Well, we were just walking up and investigating on a bicycle ride, I guess, and we stopped here. The main building that faces the sea had not been built, just the uh, south building. And we thought it was wonderful and so we purchased a place there. Wow. And how about, what were the attractions on the island? Like, what about the turtles? You were talking of earlier about... Uh... Well, they, the, the island had the big business then was the turtles and they butchered them right in the middle of the town, which was very interesting to watch. And um, other than that, they really didn't have any produce or uh, you could fish, you'd get nice fish to eat, and that was, that was it. They uh -huh. didn't have many farms uh -huh. or whatever. And you're a diver, right? Right. Tell us a little bit about how you got into diving. and. Well, Tom started diving a lot earlier than I did. I think I was a little, a little afraid of it, so... And then he got so interested in photography, I decided that was his thing. So he should take over that over. So, <laughs> And he had loads of fun with it, and we have some great pictures. Yeah, in fact, right in back of Nancy here is a um, uh, photo that Tom did. Tell us a little bit about this. This has quite a history. Well, he had entered this contest, and uh, the winners in several different categories were chosen to be made into a stamp, which, and he had that honor, and he was very thrilled. That is exciting. And who'd you used to dive with years ago? I think it was Clinton, Clinton Ebanks, or no? So Soto. Okay. Bob mm -hmm. Soto, and he introduced a, Tom to the divers, and Clinton Ebanks, we have been diving with him, from then on, and then his, his, let's see, he was the father and the grandfather, and this, and now I am, James is, is the uh, son. Uh-huh. And they've carried on the diving business. Yeah. Well, what do you like about Harbor Heights, Nancy? You've stayed here a long time. Tell us a little about why you like Harbor Heights. Number one of the people, it's like a big family. Everybody is so friendly. Uh, the grounds are beautiful, of course the beach is, is beautiful, we have a nice, one of the attractions too was the pool, it had one of the first pools I believe, of the condos, and it's, it's just a beautiful place, but people, it's just like coming home, and the people year after year are still so friendly and so nice. 
Can you talk a little bit about some of the old timers who used to come? Who some of them still do come? We had the Humphrey and Ruby and... Ruby and the folks. Humphrey was quite a character. And um, Bruce. Bruce. Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell was here for a long time. And... Um, B. Wright. B. Wright. But then there was Mrs. Uh, his, her husband was one of the big officers of the island. Pip uh, Paulson? Norris. No. They had that land. She she just died here. Um, oh. Rona Cross. Oh, what's her name? Oh, that's okay. Okay. We'll, we'll anyway, think of there, it. there were several uh, officers. Uh, Bruce Campbell was a, a big uh, insurance man and um, had been in the island a long time. Um, the Nagies. The Nagies. The Ah, lots of them, huh? Yeah, I mean, they just came, you know, came and went and came and went, yeah. came back, a lot of repeats and from all over the United States. Yeah. Well, Nancy, thanks for all the history about Cayman Islands. Sure. See ya. What is, oh. Go ahead. One of the greatest things that you could bring to make the workers happy was cartons of cigarettes. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and uh, we would get on our bicycle and take a ride as far as we could out in the country, but uh, there wasn't a lot of agriculture going on. They did ra raise the cows and the mos oh, the mosquitoes. Oh, yes. I can remember that we would sit on our porch and they would come in clouds and just almost carry off the food and they would kill the, the cows and, and uh, horses. They would just smother them. So they were a real real burden in the island. I think the joke is that the, the mosquito is the, the national Cayman bird, or yeah. they, they used to joke about that, right? Right, <laughs> yeah, it was something else. Well, it's a great island, isn't it? Oh, it's wonderful, and the people, the, the natives are just so friendly and so wonderful, and they haven't changed, and uh, we love it. And, and Harbor Heights times. is great too, huh? Yep, the greatest. The greatest. All right, Nancy Wilson, Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.